It's time to index and step up your personal life with Greplin, a social index of all your private data. So we got another new startup that came out that I was sent a link to to take a look at and do a quick review. I was asked about what I thought about it. This one's called Greplin. It's a new startup uh, that actually indexes your private social media life, things that Google wouldn't see on the outside due to authentication mechanisms, things you haven't made public across the networks. So I've already created myself an account, but did not do any of the setups just so I didn't want to waste time with the process. So what I'll do real quick is log in. But as you can see, to register, it's an email address and a couple passwords and you're off and you go. So let's go ahead and get to the startup screens. So what you're going to get is a welcome screen once you're in. And it's going to have a whole bunch of applications that are available. What it wants you to do is use OAuth for most of these. So there's no passing of your login data across. But the big question is, what about the security of the data that it's pulling in? So this is actually going to go out and create a search engine. And it started by a younger guy, I believe, from reading the specs on it from what I saw. A younger guy that jumped out of college and decided to fire this up. And it's a great tool and a great idea. But people are concerned about the actual security then of the data that they provide. So you can see it's going to go across everything from Google and private Google apps all the way out through some outside ones like Yammer and Evernote and Salesforce to get the information that's out there, including LinkedIn. So as most of you know, I set up some uh, Twitter accounts. I change things around on them so we can play around with them. But we'll link up Twitter so we can grab those real quick. So we click that. We should get OAuth. As we do. So it's going to say it wants to get in and access your account information. So we'll hang on one second. We'll do that. So we're in, the token is there, and we're back. So we just added your Twitter account, and your data should be available for search. So it does some indexing and things like that. You can add some more, or you can start searching right away. I figured we'd add in one more. I'm a little worried about the Google Mail and others myself till I see how it functions and works. I can always quickly break any of the authentications, as you know, by going into the settings and applications for these and actually you know, dumping them out and denying access to the app. So we'll go in one more. You know what, we'll do LinkedIn real quick because it's corporate data, and it's pretty much public on my side. So it's once again going to try to get access to your LinkedIn account. All right, so it dumped us back once again to the same screen to have us add more. And we're going to go ahead and skip over some of these. Let's see. We'll say no thanks and let me search. We'll see what we get. As you can see, there is some upgrade pass. They do a uh, freemium model. So there's the free one and then some additional disk space for storage as well as some other features we can look at under the upgrade. Some invites come with it, so if anyone needs an invite, let me know. You guys know how to reach me on Twitter at I Do Notes, and we'll check the settings in a couple minutes also. But first of all, let's look on the left. We have Twitter with a green, and LinkedIn is not showing green yet. It's actually showing that it's running, so it's painting itself green, and then a plus sign to add more services. So on Twitter, if we want to go ahead and do a search for something that's out there that I might have done, and the filtering is kind of interesting. You can pick who it's from. Uh, what people, what stream it was from, the certain messages themselves, or what service. You're able to actually then go through and kind of individualize a little bit of the search, but it's not a huge Boolean type search yet. That's supposedly coming in the future according to their FAQ. So I don't know what we want to search for. Um, a recent tweet that I sent out, oh, about the iPad. So this checks all the streams about people that I follow or I'm dealing with across LinkedIn, as you can see as well as across Twitter, looking for iPad activity. Um, you can look at specific people, which is interesting to see. So you can find one people that has iPad somewhere listed in there as well, or you can limit it down to a message that includes it. So it's really quick, and it gives you suggestions. So just like Google would say, do you just mean pad itself? So I find this kind of interesting way that you can do it. So I'll look, show you the upgrade real quick to show you what they're going to be offering in terms of that. So free, you get a small index, and the small index itself is 200 meg. Then as a premium, you can jump to 500 meg and you know to full 2 gig for premium plus. Uh, it's kind of like what you're using on the free services, and that's what they give you in the example here. They'll trim off data at the end if you run out of space, which is good. Um, I can see some people wanting this to be able to search across everything they have. So they estimate the space for you down below here through the streams, events, and files. So you're talking about grabbing everything about your personal data, moving it to another provider, and having it indexed for you. A great tool, a great idea. Uh, so far, I don't really see the caveats or the catches. We'll go back to the home. Don't see where it's going to come from. Otherwise, in settings, there's not too much that you can do in terms of that besides revoke, upgrade, and add other indexes that are in there. 
So they're gonna be adding more services. You can see uh, Google Reader be coming in. Right now it's under premium. Uh, anything with a star, I guess, is gonna fall into the premium. I didn't even pay attention to that when we started out. So go ahead and check it out. If you need an invite myself, uh, send me a message. Otherwise, you could head to greplin.com and go ahead and sign up yourself and start indexing your personal life.